Swami is not a talking god. He is not a walking god, but he is a working god. If you go to Padmanabha Swami temple, you will see a sleeping god. If you go to Sabri Mala, you will see a sitting god. If you go to Tirupati, you will see a standing god. But it is only here that there is a god who walks, who talks and more importantly, who works. And how he is there amidst us, not simply sitting, not simply standing, not at all sleeping, but working. Why do I have to travel all these countries, the whole world? There is nothing that I have not attained, not there is anything that I need to attain. Yet I do this, not for my sake, but for the sake of setting a good example, so that others also will emulate that and become better human beings. And that example is something that you also must set for others to follow. So as I travel around the world, I observe there are people who have enough and more and then there are those who do not even have shade or a roof over their head or food in their stomach. So I go around the world telling everyone that there is a greater responsibility, there is a greater duty of those who have towards those who do not. And therefore, I go around teaching this principle, but not by mere preaching, but by practice. And now so many devotees from around the world as I travel, I see them so inspired, each one doing much more than their might for the others, makes me so happy that my teachings, my principles are being followed, are being practiced across the world. When you practice, it shows. In your word, there is an authority of practice. When that people hear, they are transformed. So if I don't do what I have got to do, how can I expect others to do that? That is why I said, I am not a preaching God, I am not a walking God, I am not just a talking God, I am a working God. I work so that others learn how to work. <laughs>